<laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. To God be the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful to be here on tonight. We are women of his promise and I am your host, Dr. C.E. Buchanan. And I have with me here tonight a dynamic, powerful, anointed and appointed woman of God. And before I introduce my special guest, my God, hallelujah, I want to tell you what the topic is tonight. Women who are on fire for God, hallelujah, and working in the vineyard, hallelujah, glory be to God. So I want to introduce to you my special guest on tonight, hallelujah, none other than Apostle Cora Aguilar Langford, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here, I'm so excited that you're here with me on tonight hallelujah on our broadcast and I want you to tell the people a little bit about you what your ministry is all about and how you've been working in the vineyard (laughs) hallelujah well first of all I just you know give God the glory for everything and I honor you woman of God you are an amazing woman and I'm so happy that you're here too with Vision TV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we are women on fire. And my ministry is called Overcome by Love, Women on Fire. It's, it views every Saturday night from 7.30 to 8.30. I would love for you to watch it and share it. You know, it's amazing because really what it is, it's godly women who go through daily crises daily things of just normal living and and how the devil will come in and afflict us, persecute us. And how do we deal with all that? And we just turn to the Holy Ghost. You know, we allow the Holy Ghost to turn everything around. So we give God glory for everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's what this is all about. And then also, too, um, right now, you know, God has me here at Vision TV um, and, and doing so many things and helping the host and co-host and Amen. and just to get this TV program up and you know running and you know it already is I mean it's already taken off like yes. a rocket I mean Hallelujah. many many people are like rockets right now I mean the <laughs> fire of God is like Shh, yes Shh, I love it I love you know it. so it's amazing in what God is doing at this time we just give Him glory for everything Hallelujah you know what. I want you all to be encouraged tonight because we're going to open up in prayer. I wanted to introduce the woman of God, but we're going to join hands together right now and we're going to pray. So Father God, everlasting Father, we thank you, we shabak you, we glorify and magnify your name on tonight, oh God. We thank you for your only begotten son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the sweet, sweet presence of your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Father, we ask, Father, that you would lift up your people right now. We ask you, Father, that you would encourage them down to the souls, the depths of their souls, oh God. You've you've said in your word, oh God, that you promised that you would never, ever leave us or forsake us. And you would never allow your seed to be begging for bread, Father. So, Father, in this last and evil days, Father, I ask you, Father, that you would increase your people's faith on tonight. And let it be a word that's brought forth on tonight that will heal, restore, restore, rejuvenate, and set forth free hallelujah hallelujah. with the fire and power of god and we call it done in jesus mighty name amen and thank god i'm so fired up tonight i don't know what to do with myself (laughs) hallelujah i want to turn to the scripture because you know what i understand people of god is god's word is god himself so i want you to turn with me to acts chapter 2 verse 17 hallelujah glory be to god and it says and it shall come to pass In the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Hallelujah. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see dreams. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall dream dreams. Verse 18 says, and on my servants and on my handmaidens. Hallelujah. I will pour out. 
in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy glory be to god we're here hallelujah representing the lord god almighty and we are witnesses to the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah glory be to god and acts chapter 1 verse 6 in the amplified version says hallelujah it says, so when they had come together, and we're coming together tonight yes. to admonish you to hold on yes. to the unchanging hand of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hallelujah. We're coming here to let you know, hallelujah, that he is here my god Woo-hoo. oh glory be to god yes. so when they had come together they asked him repeatedly lord are you at this time reestablishing the kingdom and restoring it to israel and he said to them it is not for you to know the times or the efforts which the father had fixed by his own authority but you will receive power hallelujah and ability when the holy spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses Woo. to tell hallelujah. the people about me hallelujah hallelujah both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the ends of the earth hallelujah glory be to God so I am just here I am so elated I am so excited to have my dear beloved sister by my side hallelujah because not only has she been in the vineyards but she's been in the mission fields hallelujah hallelujah it's not just that we're in our own communities but sometimes God has to take you to all the world to preach the gospel because all nations need to hear of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and how he can set you free heal your mind heal your soul hallelujah and make you brand new so tell me woman of God some of the experiences that you've had in some of the places that you travel my understanding Mm -hmm. is that you've been to Egypt yes you've been to Israel yes you've been to Uganda yes where else have you been and what was the impact on the fire of God that was on (laughs) your life that transformed oh I just praise God for everything I I actually was in China for almost one year wow and that's where I actually met Pastor Joshua, which is, you know, the president of Vision TV. Hallelujah. So God just orchestrated that perfectly. And even though he has been ousted out of China, you know, God brought me into China so that I could go and preach the gospel. And this is what the Lord said. Amen. He gave me a word. He said, China will be a revolution of revival. My God. Means a turnaround for God's kingdom, for Hallelujah. his glory. And I'm telling you, the people there are so hungry for God. Wow. I'm telling you, there's so many ministers that need to go to China. They need to go to the world Hallelujah. and preach the gospel. I went to a program, Morris Aurelio and Benny Han, and Morris spoke about only 6% of all ministers in, in the U.S., Go and evangelize the world. Wow. That is nothing. My you know, there, that's the reason why there's so much jealousy and envy here is because the people don't go out. They don't go out. They don't My even God. go out of their own, you know, local community. Yes. But God has called you out to preach the gospel. Mark, Hallelujah. Mark 16, 15, it says, yes. go preach the gospel to the world, to every Hallelujah. creature. So I was in China. I was in Uganda for 30 days. I went to Ethiopia for two days. Wow. I was in Israel where I got baptized in the Jordan River. And then I got to baptize people and minister in Israel. Hallelujah. That was a, I'm telling you, people of God, I, 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 I just want to share this with you. That it's so important that you go to Israel because it will change your ministry. The, you know, God is so good, and, and he just wants to pour his love in us. Yes, he does. And he will pour so much oil, so much love, so much rejuvenation, I mean, and so much peace in your heart that when you come back from Israel, you will have that Israel anointing. Hallelujah. And you will come back to the U.S. And then you will go out and preach the gospel even more with greater Hallelujah. fire. My Hallelujah. God, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're tag teaming on tonight. Amen. We're tag teaming for Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Because we are anointed, appointed, and yielded vessels to the anointing of the That's Holy right. Ghost. Because God formed us in our mother's womb. And he knew us when we were yet a substance and knew that we would be sitting here today. That's right. Hallelujah. Just encouraging you.